Hi guys, I'm really happy to say that now the number who have healed are actually much more than those who are sick. We have achieved more than 65% of a healing rate in Tamil Nadu and in Chennai also. But today this video is about convalescent plasma therapy and how if you are someone who has had the COVID-19 and if you have recovered completely, yes, it is extremely important for somebody to donate plasma only when they have recovered completely completely because only then there will be a good amount of antibodies in your system. Now plasma has been there for a very long time but this is the first pandemic where we are able to see if plasma or plasma banking could help us prepare well or better in the next or future pandemics. So how can you help if you are somebody who's had the COVID-19 and now you are well with an RT-PCR that is the test negative please contact the closest plasma bank in your area many patients who are in intensive care or those who might require intensive care will definitely have a better prognosis or a better recovery from COVID-19 with plasma therapy so how does it work for a donor so you first come to the hospital and they will do a few blood tests and physical examination like a blood pressure and they will check your pulse and check your chest to make sure that you are breathing right and once your vitals are stable you will be taken to a suite where blood will be taken out of you but it will be put through a machine known as an apheresis machine where the blood and the plasma will be separated continuously and the red blood cells alone will be redirected back into your body yes when you donate plasma you do not donate your hemoglobin that is redirected back into your body through this plasma pheresis machine and that helps you retain your hemoglobin so we only take the immunity which you do not need from you to help somebody who is really really sick so guys get ready and boost yourself to come and donate plasma if you're somebody who's had the COVID-19 I see a lot of you are waiting for the vaccination but you guys, those who have had COVID-19, you guys could be a kind of vaccination for those who are in intensive care, for the families who are struggling, who do not know whether their loved ones will come back or not. So please take the effort and contact the plasma bank which is in your area. Utmost care is taken that the blood which is donated is safe for the recipient, that is the person who needs the plasma. So the blood is tested for all possible and all necessary infections and also made sure that the antibody titers are good enough. The donors are also checked, their vitals are examined and a physician makes sure that he will be at no risk after donating plasma. Consider donating because you're saving a life, you're saving a family. Two, you will find out if you have a good level of immunity or not because before we do the plasma test, we will check your antibody levels. So if your antibody levels are good, then we will tell you that, hey, you have very good immunity, which means you're safe from the COVID-19 at least till your immunity lasts and if your immunity is good you can come back after a month and donate some more plasma to save some more lives and then again when we test your antibody we will definitely tell you how your immunity is faring this will also help us with research because currently there is a fear that the immunity or the antibodies in COVID-19 do not last for longer than six months or a year so help us out there too finally we're all depending on the medical community the scientific community to come out with vaccines to protect so I urge all of you those who have the antibodies in you to protect please help those who are sick out who are suffering from the same disease which you had think of how their families are at this point of time so come forward and contact the plasma center at your neighborhood and become a plasma donor today misconceptions about donation of plasma that if you donate plasma you become sick no we do not want a sick person's plasma it is of no help to the person who is actually sick and wants to get better so we make sure that unless you have more than enough antibodies we will not take plasma from you and that is why we have teams to make sure that it does not affect the person who donates and it is also beneficial for the person who receives it. And before vaccines come, it is antibodies and antibodies are there in those of you who have recovered. 
so please think of donating i will be adding a few numbers of our plasma bank below and also a link in the description of all the plasma banks which are available in tamil nadu so please look out for the plasma bank in your area and consider donating today thank you very much